It was well over 36 years ago when my father decided that he wasn't going to send me to this school. That's when my vision started. And it was pure luck that I managed to move on in my life. Pure luck that I got interested in a particular subject area. It was pure luck that I was inspired to be creative in a particular area. And that led me to think about my professional practice when I finally became what I wanted to become, which was a chemistry teacher. And that was to eliminate this idea of luck to empower people within a community. The mission at Easter Academy is simple. It's all will succeed. That's not some and can, it's all and will. Um, as professionals, we've been charged with a very special responsibility. It's the kind of responsibility that I think most people in their natural lives would yearn for, and that is to make a massive difference to the world around you, to make that world a better place. Our mission will be enduring, all will succeed, will remain. What will change is how we go about doing that. But on top of all of that, technology is converging to become so much more interactive and around the individual, it's so much more personalised. So what I see is the technology getting better and better and better, enabling us to personalise further and further, which will enable the social capital that's built up and the outcomes produced so that our young people succeed to go on and make a difference from generation to generation. The key focus was around learning. Um, our motto is all will succeed. So it's not all can succeed, but actually all will succeed. And to make sure that every student had 21st century resources. So moving away from buying um, mounds of printed textbooks to actually creating our own textbooks. Imagine being in an environment where a student could take a textbook home that's completely personalized for them. They could sit with the parents, flick digital pages over, interact with video, look at content, listen to audio, um, and be able to, to, to interact with that and modify that information and capture their own learning whilst that's happening. Well, each student's been given an iPod Touch, so all in all there's over a thousand iPods within the school. Every member of staff has got an iPad too, and there are some that are in cupboards for lessons, so there's uh, around 400 uh, plus iPads within the school. But the iPod's the most crucial one because it's the handheld device which is enabling our future. One of the key aspects around the hardware was to, to make sure that we had um, a wireless system that was robust, that covered the academy completely, both internal and external areas. We've got um, the student mobile devices that run off there. We've got the portable devices, the iPads that are used in classrooms and by teachers that, are, that work off there as well. So this means that actually the, the wireless network has to be robust. It has to allow access. It, it has to be seamless. Um, and that's why we went and installed a, a Maru wireless system. Maru Networks met Abdul Chohan at Learning Without Frontiers in January 2011 and it was very clear that Abdul had a, an exciting vision for the delivery of teaching and learning using Apple technology. Maru Networks has enabled that and visiting the academy today I've seen engaged students, I've seen excited students, I've seen uh, enthusiastic teachers and directors and what they've achieved here is, is nothing short of fantastic. Because the whole school is wireless, it enables us to be able to learn anywhere. Um, so we don't have to be in a classroom or in a, a library. We could, we could be doing work in, the, in our restaurant whilst we were eating our dinner at lunchtime. It is really reliable. I, for example, in my lesson today, because everything was already built in into this one iPad, I could project it and have more time for the students rather than worrying about books, paper and everything else. They had some work to do them in their books, mainly use on the iPods, make the notes, they carry it around with them, an excessive amount of information, easily accessible. Well, when you're doing your work and you're using apps on your iPod, and when your teachers might like your work and they want to show it to the whole class, and normally in a book you can't, everyone can't see it, and your work you can like send it to the TVs and the Apple TVs in your classroom, everyone can see it in the big screen. So typical activities, we would do in PE would be to analyse performance where you could find the perfect model on let's say for example a YouTube clip that could be displayed and played to the entire group 
and then each individual student could take turns to record their own performance and then we could marry up the two and the feedback was, was incredibly positive. One of the key things is we begin to see a huge amount of creativity both from two teachers and from students as well. Teachers in the fact uh, of how they're actually using technology and how they're um, capitalising on learning. Students have got iPods, we've got iPads, we've got, we've got the uh, MacBook Pros, we've got the MacBook Airs. Um, we do, it's totally and utterly different. It's more exciting, um, it's entertaining, it's more exciting for us as well. It's a whole new experience. And it helps us in our lessons to you know, take notes when the teacher's giving a lecture to, to help you when you're doing your own work independently. And it helps you to like, take things, take matters to your, you know, your own hands and go on the internet and find out words you don't know what they mean and then research things you don't know understand and it, it makes everything easier for you because you've got like everything in your hands you don't need any big books and you don't need to go to the library everything, all the time. What's interesting about ESSA is the Maru wireless network through its virtual port capability and the seamless roaming is supporting all of their mobile voice requirements. We've not had to install phones and telephony. Our telephony works over the wireless system. Every single member of staff has their own extension number. Parents can ring teachers at any time and the teachers can receive calls on their iPads um, and they can return calls whenever they want to as well. Now we've got the ability to email our teachers 24-7. It makes it a lot easier for us. So if we're stuck on homework or we're not sure if we need one-to-one -one tuition at what time, it's just we can just send an email and the staff we can guarantee that staff will reply to us. Behind me you see a solution that's actually um, a Pepper's Ghost kind of solution which means that students can actually get on stage and interact with virtual objects that are presented in front of them. You know, we could have a student stood inside a DNA molecule. We could have, you know, somebody, um, a member of staff stood inside a mathematical shaped cone that shows different formulas and angles and so on. Um, so it's about merging the, the new technologies you know, with the old style pedagogies that we've been used to. Many of our young people and our staff have, to, have had to put up in very poor conditions and trying to do remarkable things within that. They fully understand that what they've got here is something quite special extremely appreciative and in terms of the behaviours that I've seen that have changed is a massive um, rebuilding of positive relationships and mutual respect and a general understanding of the business like manner and that just produces this bright vibrant exciting community which is amazing you see children running into the academy in the morning you don't see them running out at the end of the day Many of them you can't even get rid of, even when you want to shut the doors. And that tells you a lot about how proud people are about where they work. It's like in the future and um, it's just it's brilliant. You know, I don't want to go to anywhere else, I'm, I want to stay here because of this new building and every, all the technology and all, everything, the iPods, the iPads, the iMacs, the MacBook, everything in the school, what makes me want to stay here and not go to any other high school.